wind, rain, surge, and tornadoes on their own all can be dangerous. But combine them and you have a life-threatening hurricane. Here's a list of the deadliest hurricanes to hit the U.S. Starting at number five, the Sea Island Hurricane of 1893. The Sea Islands Hurricane brought massive loss of life to very low-lying islands in South Carolina and Georgia, mostly because of drowning. There was a 16-foot storm surge, and there were 30,000 people left homeless after that storm. The very same year, the fourth deadliest hurricane struck Chenier Caminata, Louisiana. And essentially wiped the town off the map, that fishing village never rebuilt. The most recent deadly hurricane on our list, Katrina, coming in at number three. What happened in New Orleans in the Lower Ninth Ward was largely a man-made disaster. It was because of the failure of the levees that so many areas were flooded and so many people were killed. At number two, the Okeechobee hurricane in 1928 that killed an estimated 2,500 people. When this hurricane came, the incredible amount of water completely overwhelmed that little levee and just swamped them in the middle of the night. They really had no chance. And the deadliest hurricane to strike the United States, the 1900 Galveston hurricane, claiming an estimated eight to 12,000 lives. Mostly from the very, very high storm surge uh, that the hurricane pushed ashore. There have been deadlier hurricanes to form in the Atlantic, but they missed the U.S. In 1998, more than 19,000 people were killed in Central America due to Hurricane Mitch. I'm meteorologist Mike Bettis.